Wellness Convention's little introduction. I'm really pleased to introduce my co-host and co-host of the conference, Jean-Guy de Gabriac, chair, founder of the World Wellness Weekend. Good afternoon, Jean-Guy, how are you? Good afternoon, Mark. It's a pleasure being here, joining you, not just today, but for the eighth time already. So we haven't got the eight, eight, eight year itch. Um, the convention is in London, 3rd and 4th of April. Uh, as always, we try very much to hit the core of making people's spas better so that if I'm coming as a, as a spa manager, senior spa director, that I will get some golden nugget to take back to my spa. And we really focus on this because obviously with the pandemic affecting so many businesses, that need to reboot, re-energize and get business back to some sort of normality is more necessary than ever. So that's the theme of the two days. Um, is there anything particularly you'd like to highlight? There are so many. You know how passionate I am, Mark, uh, but I'm truly excited. Uh, A, because we get back to some kind of normalcy, because restrictions on travel are lifting up, because the hassle of going through so, through so many um, tests and everything is, uh, is now, I hope, something from the past. So people are definitely welcome to join live, in-person, network, learn, share safely, respectfully, uh, distance if they will. But there's definitely all the, uh, um, uh, all the, the safety precautions that you and your team have done. The exciting part is that we have, I believe, a very uh, productive format for the, um, for the two days. We have panels, four of them. We have uh, keynotes with international uh, superstars of our industry, movers and shakers. And we have also uh, workshops that are very interactive where people can definitely take away golden nuggets, as you say, best practices to apply the following day. No, indeed. And what I'm particular, we talk, one of them, everybody's talking about sustainability. That is the inward that so many, particularly younger consumers have. But what our take is, it's practical steps and solutions that you can adopt in your spa business and, and your hotel business. Because there's so much of what we, people have great hopes and aspirations, what they want to do, but what actually can I do realistically in my business? <clears throat> and we've got some interesting people who've actually done it and can share their tips, haven't we? It's just one example of the panels you've got. You know, it's, it's very interesting you, you mentioned sustainability because it's, it's really the S word that some people want to talk about and others don't want to talk about. It's been around for years and years, and there are best practices that people can definitely uh, implement. Do they actually it does, for, for, for the spas that do that, it is definitely a competitive advantage. It is doing the right thing for the planet and for the people. Uh, we will be led in this uh, interactive workshop with Lucy Briley, who's the president of the Sustainable Spa Associations, Kent Richards, the Corporate Operations Director for Spas Global of Six Senses will join and sustainability is definitely in the DNA of, of the brand and uh, one of the winners of the World Spa and Wellness Awards from last year from Le Fay Resort will be joining. But sustainability in operations is not the only topic that we will be covering because on, and that will be on the Monday afternoon. On Sunday afternoon, we will have another workshop with another kind of sustainability, mental wellness, spa programs that reset clients and teams' well-being. So that's also a big uh, topic of sustainability. And for that, Andrea Lomas will be joining us. She's the head group of spa operations, Mandarin Oriental. We have um, Elena Gretsch, CEO of the British Beauty Council. And we have an amazing speaker coming from Saudi Arabia. She's the senior corporate wellness manager at Amala, which is not a mega project, it's a giga project with tens of hotels, spas, wellness centers opening up in Saudi Arabia. Victoria Sharp will be joining, as well as Genia Di Piero, who has been a, a, a regular speaker. She's so passionate 
and she's the owner of Cloud 12. But I could go on and on. I, I think with... what is good about that particular example, there you have some big spa operations, huge operations, but you also have more modest personal operations so that wherever you are in, in your spa or whatever try to business you represent, we've got something for you. And I think we all to, you know, every, uh, so much, particularly in the UK, we talk about mental wellness, but what we're trying to do is, is show programs that you can develop to actually impact the health of your customers and bluntly your financial health of your business by getting people involved in your spa and coming back. And obviously team mental wealth and the mental health is very important to sustain your, your staff. I, well, another to, one that you talked about, I, I quite, which I quite like is, you know, with, with, what have we learned from COVID? In mm. the sense that I think for many people, not all, not those who've been personally touched, but for many people, they just, they want to sort of wipe that and pass. We're now hopefully opening up in most countries, but there are some learnings and some changes of practices. And you've got some nice, interesting angles there where people say, well, th this is what I've learned. I'm not gonna bore you with what's happened the two years, but what is going to happen, what I've learned that's gonna impact my business moving forward. Absolutely. Uh, it's really about re-engaging the team, re-engaging the clients. And to speak about that specific topic, Mark, we have Alison Ainsworth. She's the Corporate Senior Director for Spas of Marriott in Europe, Middle East and Africa. She will be joining us. Brian Hunter, the Director of Spa and Leisure at Kohler Water Spa um, at the Old Course in, uh, in Scotland will be joining. Paul Hoko will be joining us also, uh, but on Zoom uh, from Thailand. He is now the Corporate Director of Wellness at Ducit Hotels. We have so many topics. We could go on also about how to um, implement smart strategies to generate revenue. Well, this is my favorite because that nubs ah. down to it. Because, you know, I, I think, again, you have an aspiration as an individual and as a business, and then you've got to actually generate the income so that you can see some of those through. And I, I, that we, we actually kick off with that, which I'm pleased of. Absolutely. And to lead us into this conversation, we have Anno, Anna Quello. She's the director of Spa Global for Rocco Forte Hotels in Europe. And we have uh, the uh, uh, two passionate people from iconic uh, venues, award-winning venues, Lasse Eriksson, director of development of Ferris Bad in Norway, but is also the vice president of the International Sauna Association. So it's going to be a very hot topic that is going to bring uh, Tara Moore. She's the head of spa operations at Galgorm Spa and Golf Resort. So uh, really on, on a fast forward thinking, creative, always adding something every year and from Vietnam, we have a fantastic GM. We need more of, of this kind of people. Hilton Lipkin is the general manager of Alba Wellness by Fusion Resort, which is one of the most successful um, um, group of hotels in Vietnam and Asia, but also one of the hardest hit during COVID. And he will be able also to, to share some smart strategies to generate revenue, even in the harshest moments. So as you said, for there's something for everyone, whether you're a sole entrepreneur, you're the owner of your standalone business, you're part of a chain, or you are looking for expansion wherever you are, there's definitely nuggets to, to take. No, but we could go on with the keynotes also. We can, but before you do that, let me just, a couple of changes this year. Uh -huh. So um, one, we have a networking cruise. You will go from from Excel across the gondolas to the O2, where London's smartest yacht, River Yacht, holds up 400. And it is, I believe it's it's a one-star Michelin chef on this, but it's gorgeous food, gorgeous um, a yacht that will, it was networking, far more networking opportunities rather than so much a sit, sit down din dinner, up to the Houses of Parliament and then back direct to Excel. So we've got quite a, um, for those who like that networking in a relaxed party, we're, we're doing that on the Sunday night of the 3rd. And for those 
we had a focus group amongst buyers and, and of course recruitment is a big issue, particularly encouraging new people into the sector and existing therapists who might not be in a spa but wants to see her career in a spa. Well, for those who book a group or five or more, we'll get a, a, a branded table at the event for the two days to show their how their spa um, and what their opportunities, career opportunities, they can give to both therapists and students. Some students, and that will be included in the cost of of you bring your team along. So a couple of um, little little snippets for you. And and before you you leave on our our keynotes, it is the third and fourth of April. Um, our sponsors have really allowed us to to keep the cost really really low. I mean, there are other programs there for thousands of dollars, and this is this isn't. This is not even 200 pounds sterling. And thank you to Lemi Biologique Reprochage and Gary Ania amongst our sponsors for your generosity there. Um, and if you want a book or look, find out more, it's worldspawellness.com, worldspawellness.com. So Jean-Guy, you have the last word. Tell us about our, our keynotes. You and I know that you will have the last word anyway, but thank you for suggesting that I could have the, the before the, the last word word. Uh, keynotes are going to be tremendous this year. Usually we, we have people who shift the vibration in the room. When they speak, time slows down, people really listen with their ears, you know, pricking up. Sometimes the, the mouth is a little bit open they really sink in what's what's been shared we have two i wouldn't want to call them heavyweights because they i know they're they're very fit uh, but they are they are uh, serious players in this industry we have emlyn brown the vice president well-being of accor who will be talking about wellness and limited we have michael newcomb who is the GM of the Four Seasons uh, in Beverly Hills, but also the Vice President Global for All Spas and Wellness Offer at Four Seasons. He rarely speaks. He will speak in London. And we have two amazing keynote speakers. Franz Linzer uh, is the CEO of Linzer and, and Partners. For those of you who came a few years ago and attended, he always have a, a sharp eye on new trends. And he will be able to... Um, help you decipher what's the fanciful from the deliverable, what's up and coming and should uh, really get your attention, but and what's only transitory and what's essential. But um, almost best for last, Mia Kirikos, who used to be the head of well-being for um, for Mer uh, for um, Hyatt worldwide, and previously who created so many brands for Starwood, uh, so involved with the Global Wellness Institute, she delivered last November a, an outstanding keynote during the Global Wellness Summit in Boston. For those of you who were attending, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you who were not attending, you want to know what it's about. And she will be talking about Hinsight of 2020 and how we can make things better because the chief wellness officers are a reality. But before you have the last word, Mark, I would just like also to mention that in one specific, specific panel, which is wellness concepts that lead to genuine transformation to the customers and team, Shushmita Sarangi will be flying from um, Mumbai to join us. She's the commercial director at Taj Hotels, and she will be delivering an outstanding um, information about what Taj is doing in the realm of Ayurveda for uh, retreats. Teresa O'Farrell is the wellness director global for all the Dorchester collection. Alejandro Leo is the head of wellness of Habitas Hotel. And Asen Mutt is the director of uh, SPA at SPA Life at Corinthia. For those of you who know uh, SPA Life at Corinthia, some of them call it the beast because it's on several uh, floors. Some of them call it a marvel of productivity. Asen Mutt will be with us. So be there. Make sure you join. Don't come alone because there's going to be so much information in two days and there's so much to see on the, on the um, exhibition floor. You want to come in pairs or threes so that there's always one person attending a conference or a keynote or a, um, uh, or a workshop and someone walking the floor and networking. You wanna do that. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to the industry to invest in your time because really it's not investing in the price of joining. It's really investing in the time of coming learning, networking, and sharing.
Well, you've said it all. Thank you, everybody, for listening. WorldSpaWellness.com. See you in April. All the best.